All right, this is going to be the chain rule video that I do my shortcut. Well, I don't know that it's mine, but I do the shortcut way. So if you like the substitution where we do y equals the outside and u equals the inside, you probably don't want to watch this video. So here we go. I have y equals 3x to the fourth plus 1 to the fourth. The outside, I can bring my exponent down, the 4. Leave the inside alone. Leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. And then subtract 1 times the derivative of the inside. And then I can actually multiply these together. 3x to the 4th plus 1 to the 3rd. And I'm done. All right, let's do another one. So this is r equals q to the fourth plus one to the fourth power. r prime, the derivative. Bring the exponent down front. Subtract one from the exponent times the derivative of the inside. And once again, I can multiply the four, 16, q to the third q to the fourth plus one, all to the third power. If I have a radical, so if I have something like y equals the square root of s to the eleventh power plus two, well, if you remember, I said this is a nice little formula to have memorized. The derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 times square root of x. But it's also times the derivative of x. It just so happens the derivative of x is 1. So over here, this is going to be 1 over 2 square root. So leave the inside alone times the derivative of the inside, and I'm done. If I have a e exponential, so y equals 7 e to the 4t plus 3, throw the constant out front, the derivative of e to the anything is e to the anything times the derivative of the anything. Well, the derivative of 4t is 4, and of course 3 is a constant. So I get 28e to the 4t plus 3. If I have something like w equals 4e to the square root of s, 4 is a constant and goes out front. The derivative of e to the anything is the e to the anything times the derivative of the anything. And that's my square root. I can make this look a little better. And so I get my final answer of 2e to the square root of s all over the square root of s. If I have a log, y equals ln of 8t plus 7, the derivative of a log is 1 over what's inside the parentheses times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. So in other words, 8 over 8t plus 7. Okay, if I have y equals ln of t to the ninth plus 6. The derivative of log of anything is 1 over the anything times the derivative of the anything, so it should be 9t to the eighth, which you can throw back on your numerator. f of x equals ln of 4 minus e to the negative x. The derivative of ln of anything is 1 over the anything 
times the derivative of the anything. Well, the derivative of 4 is 0. And so let me do some multiplying here because I'm going to write that derivative of 4 is 0 minus the derivative of e to the anything is e to the anything times the derivative of the anything, meaning the derivative of negative x, which would be negative 1. So I can make this one look a little bit better. I have a negative and a negative, so that becomes a positive e to the negative x, all over 4 minus e to the negative x. And the last one, just to keep this the same as the other video, y equals 7 plus ln of 5t plus 4. The derivative of a log is 1 over what's in the parentheses times the derivative of what's in the parentheses. So you can see this way is a lot faster, but some students kind of like the whole substitution, the y equals the, the outside, u equals the inside, take derivatives of both, multiply, substitute back. So you just need to choose, make a choice now which one you like better and stick to it.